and then the pattern as each county comes into family care is there are all these services that were already set up and this person here has got a hundred thirty dollar a day rate and this person here has got a hundred and twenty dollar a day rate and whatever and remember we asked certain provider organizations to come into areas where they didn't even have operations before because we said we've got a whole lot of people with these special needs and here's a provider that has enough staff they have a training department they have supervisors they have all the things we need to provide a really uh, really robust programming for somebody and so when managed care came in uh, things were fine at first those providers just were paid what they were the day before family care started and then what happened in the early years in each one of the pilot counties and then in each of the other counties is that the providers were asked can you take this size cut can you cut your operations this way or that way um, and what happened across most of the state is in the first year or two or three the providers and the managed care organizations actually worked together they would talk to guardians talk to the people living in in various residential settings and say um, you know we think you can be served more cheaply with this type, type of service is that okay with you and that's what happened um, the managed care organizations went to a lot of the residential providers and said you know if you've got a four bed and there's room for one more person why don't you turn it into a five bed and turn your six into sevens and so on because we're able to spread the costs around um, and I think providers were anxious and providers were worried about the future but at least in the early years of the transition I think it worked reasonably well and I'm a small businessman those of you who are you know most businesses can stand that sort of restructuring most of them can stand a few percentage points of cut and you learn to do things another way um, and that's basically what happened across the the uh, disability services industry in each of the family care counties as we got going well um, by 2004 in milwaukee county it wasn't working very well and so a lot of residential providers were talking about discharging individuals um, and the reason for that was that they were trying to negotiate for rates with the Milwaukee County Managed Care Organization that wasn't going well at all um, and the big problem of course was people with higher needs and especially people with developmental disabilities with higher needs and so a bunch of discharges went out those people, uh, guardians and a few individuals found their way to me um, and so I did file a lawsuit in federal court and the basis of the lawsuit is the Americans with Disabilities Act because the Americans Dis with Disabilities Act um, obviously it forbids discrimination you can't treat somebody with a disability worse than somebody without a disability that's obvious but the Americans with Disabilities Act also says that you can't treat different groups or classes of people with disabilities differently in a government program. And so what we were saying is the people with lower needs, and if you remember the one slide, elderly people were generally getting all the services that they needed because the cost of the elderly people did not scare the managed care organization. It was the cost of people with higher needs and those were people with developmental disabilities.